Okay, here I like to show an example of checking fuel pressure. A lot of times I'll ask guys, do they check the fuel pressure? And they hook a gauge up to it and they say, yeah, they checked it. And I'll ask, did you check it under a load? Because it's very important to check it under a load. And that means driving it. And here, here's a perfect example. Okay, here we have this one bouncing around. You can see it going 48, 52 or whatever. And I'll even rev it up. Let's rev it up for say three to five seconds. It's, it's lower than what I like. Don't ever want to see him go under 41 for sure. But still, guys will tell me, oh yeah, the pressure never dropped. Now I'm going to put it in gear and do a full throttle and watch what happens to it. So the thing is, when you check it under a load, it really has to be under a load. Full throttle, using the maximum amount of fuel so we can see if it can maintain the fuel pressure. So when you check them, make sure it's driving under full throttle. And then that way you have uh, less regrets later. I get people telling, you know, they're talking about, uh, I'll tell them to pull the fuel tank and to remove the pickup screen and look inside of it. I get people that said, oh, they've done that. You know, that they've checked them and they've done it and they can't find anything. I just want to point out, I'm not talking about the main pickup screen here. You have to take this pry it open here. I've already got this one open, but you, you pry it open, and once you get it open, you have these two screens inside here. And these are the ones I'm talking about that get so plugged up. I'll take them, and all I really do with them, is clean them. them out here by blowing them out but the ones I'm referring to or if you have a problem these actually normally show up uh, your customers concerns are lacks power or wants to die after maybe an hour of driving half hour to an hour um, it, it could vary this truck actually was so plugged up it would do it instantly but um, anyhow if you, if you do get a problem make sure you pull the tank and check take your pickup screen apart and get these out and clean them this is most likely where your lack of fuel pressure is Okay, this is the one here that I blew apart, cleaned it. Uh, just use a carburetor cleaner, brake cleaner, air. And here's the other one. You can see the amount of restriction that's in them. And all, all your fl fuel flows through here, so make sure you pull these out and clean them. Thank you. Okay, this is the same truck. All I've done is clean the filters out that's housed inside the tank. And as you can see, just at an idle, how much the pressure has gained, how much pressure we've gained. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a wide open throttle. Pretty much looks like problem solved.